Welcome to another declutter episode. Today we are decluttering all things eyes, mainly eyeshadow palettes today, but I will also just go over my eyeliners, mascaras, all other eye products and brow products just to make sure that there's nothing in those that I want to declutter as well. But predominantly I would like to declutter my eyeshadow palettes. As you can see, I have quite a lot. What is missing from this collection that on this desk that you can't see? Uh, I don't know if you can even tell that these are stacked up quite high, but also this is not including any of my Pat McGrath Labs palettes, my Natasha Denona palettes, or my Tom Ford quads. So yeah, I have a lot. <laughs> now I'm going to be decluttering these as I said. I am not going to be going through each of these palettes in depth at all because one, there is way too many and two, I recently did a My Eyeshadow Palette collection video where I really did go and showcase each individual palette and kind of give my thoughts on each one. So if you would like to see a more in-depth eyeshadow palette collection video, then I will link that down below for you. I mean, I say I'm going to be quick, but we all know I'll probably get caught up in the details at some point, but I will try and keep it as succinct as possible because we will be here for a while. So hopefully this sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into this declutter. I just went and counted all my palettes and I actually forgot to add in this one, which is the Isamaya palette and the Tiny Marbles palette. But I did also count my Pat McGrath Labs and my Natasha Denona and my Tom Ford quads into the entire count. And I have 93 eyeshadow palettes, which I'm pretty sure when I did my eyeshadow palette collection, I had 82 or 83. So I've collected like 10 more since then, but that does make sense to me because I have picked up three new ones here, which I'll show you. The Isamaya palette, Kaleidos sent me two palettes, the new Mothership, the Vive palette. I don't know if I had that in my eyeshadow palette collection. Actually, Kaleidos sent me three palettes in PR and my friend Patty also gave me a Tom Ford quad that she wasn't using. So I, half of those 10 were given to me and then the other half I think I bought. Anyway, let's just, let's just start going through this, shall we? I'll just zoom out just a little bit. The first one up is the Isamaya palette. This is the industrial palette. Why can't I open you? There you go. She's amazing. I think the review of this should already be up on my channel and hopefully a five looks video as well, but if not, it's coming. But this is such a pretty palette. I really, really like it. So no, it is not being decluttered. Let's also get an obvious keep out of the way. This is the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. And absolutely not. I will never, ever, ever, ever de declutter this palette. It is too special. So keep. This is the M Cosmetics Divine Skies little eyeshadow palette. And it's not my favorite, favorite eyeshadow palette, but I do quite like it. Um, and I do like to travel with this, so I'm going to keep that. This is one of my ColourPop palettes. This is the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer palette. My best friend actually bought me this for Christmas last year. I just think it's such a perfect holiday season palette, and I haven't had enough of a chance to play with it yet because I got it after the holidays when we finally saw each other. I mean, I can use it now, let's be real. The colors are very beautiful, but I'm definitely keeping this one because it was a gift from her and two because I just love me a Christmas themed palette. I have two Viseart palettes, the Cashmere and the Paris Love Letter. And they're hundred percent not going anywhere. This is the Paris Love Letter palette. I don't even know if you can see this little brown shade down here and the big divot it has in it. I use these palettes a lot. They're such beautiful everyday makeup palettes. And I actually wore a mixture of the Paris Love Letter and the Cash Marie palette, this one right here, for my wedding day makeup. So she'll never be decluttering these because they are too sentimental to me. This is the Glaminatrix U Beauty palette. Look how incredible this is. And I just have to show you guys these two shades because they're insane. Look at that. They are so cool. I really have my eye on the new Neutrals palette from Glaminatrix and the Nocturnal one. I just missed the pre-orders, but I'd love to get my hands on them. 
I always get toss, like I always toss up whether or not to purchase their palettes just because you have to pre-order them when it come for a while and honestly I'm just impatient but I'm definitely keeping that palette this is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette and I have just bought this into my collection I literally have not used it yet it's only just come and I haven't taken photos of it yet to swatch it or anything I'm excited to try it I have literally never tried an Urban Decay eyeshadow before ever and I kind of have always had my little side eye on this palette I don't know why it appeals to me for some reason I know it's very basic but it appeals to me definitely keeping because we haven't even tried it yet I like the packaging as a side note. This is also brand new. I picked it up at the same time as the Reloaded one. This is the Honey palette. I actually picked this up. I know you guys will look at this, those of you that really have stuck around this channel for a while. You'll look at this and you'll say, why did you pick up the Honey palette when you don't really like gold eyeshadow? And you are correct. But there's a couple of reasons. And the biggest one being that Simply Blair really loves this eyeshadow palette and I really like her videos. And so I just kind of wanted to try it because she loves it so much. But also I find that these golds are my kind of wearable golds. Everyone probably except this actual honey shade because these are kind of like green gold leaning and then the neutrals in here are so pretty. And so I was just like, I'm just going to give it a go. A lot of people have raved about this. Another new eyeshadow palette to the collection is the Sigma Enchanted palette. I have had my eye on this for so, so long and I saw it for 20% off and I thought I'm going to grab it. It's just so pretty. Honestly, this shade and this shade and this shade were the ones that drew me in. I've used this like in my personal life, when I say personal, I mean off camera, <laughs> a couple of times already and I really like it. It wasn't what I was expecting, but it's very, very pretty. And I think for those of you that would, I said I wasn't gonna go in detail on every palette, but here we are. I think for those of you that want to wear something that's maybe a little bit more colorful and out there but still have it very soft and muted you would probably really really like this palette i will again film with this it may already be up it may not be it might be coming so keep an eye out this is the jouet essentials matte and shimmer palette i believe i've used this on my channel once i picked this up in black friday last year black friday sales for 11 dollars and I picked it up because I want the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. And one of you guys kind of said that this might be a good dupe for it. And I saw it for $11 and was like, okay, I'll pick it up. This is not good quality. You guys, I think maybe it was $11 because it's off, to be fair. It's terrible quality. It's like the most muted, washed out shadows. Like they literally, these metallics are basically mattes. So yeah, I really don't like this. I'm definitely not gonna use it. I'm absolutely gonna declutter it. This is the ColourPop Wild Nothing palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. It is so beautiful. I don't feel like it gets a lot of hype and it, I feel like it should because this green is amazing. Plus this shade right here and this shade right here. They're so pretty, like so pretty. But even just from feeling this and knowing what this felt like two years ago, I got this in 2020. I know that these are no longer it. Like the quality has gone downhill. These used to be like actual, pretty much like cream shadows to swatch. And now they're super powdery. So I am actually going to declutter this one. This is the Dream Street Kathleen Lights Cross Color Pop palette. You can see mine's pretty beaten up. This is a really old palette. I just kind of held onto it because... I just really like it. I really like the color story. It reminds me of, cool, of a really fun time in makeup too, at least for me. And it was just one of those color stories that was actually really, like this shade and this shade was really unique at the time. Um, so I always kept it around, but I am actually gonna let it go because it's way past its expiry and I'm just not even gonna use it. Like I haven't reached for it in years. This is a tough one. This is the KKW Cross Mario palette and I purchased this for Mario, not necessarily Kim. I just am such a fan of Mario's and I adore this palette. It is such a good palette and I want nothing more than for him to re-release this out on his own in his own brand because I love the color story. I love everything about this palette. It's beautiful and I've used it quite a lot again I don't know if you can see there's like quite a divot in this shadow here like I've really loved this palette it's definitely past its prime its performance is no longer there so I'm actually going to keep this but I have a little section in my makeup collection that's like for nostalgia 
and I keep it very, very small. It's only got like two pieces in it currently, but this is one of those palettes where I just don't want to let it go. I just love Mario too much. And it also reminds me of a certain period of time in my life. So I'm going to declutter it to my like makeup I save because it really means something to me, which I know is weird because it's a KKW palette, but there's a lot of backstory behind it. <laughs> Luna Beauty Eternal Eclipse. Just Luna Beauty is so underrated, you guys. Please check his palettes out if you haven't and they look interesting to you. They're such good quality and they're so beautiful and the color stories are really interesting. So I'm not decluttering that one and I'm also not decluttering Nude Prism. It, it, they're such good palettes. Like such good palettes. I've got some harder choices to make over here and I'm, I'm avoiding it. Can you tell? <laughs> this is the Dior Early Bird Quint. Uh, this is the only Dior eyeshadow that I own. I picked it up because of this beautiful mustard shade right here. I love it. <laughs> I know a lot of people didn't like this Quint. I really liked it. I still really like it. I actually still use it. I really do find it's a great Quint for me. The color story is very friendly for me. Um, it's not going to be decluttered, so... Yeah. Two Huda Beauty little small nine pans. This is the Python palette. Absolutely gorgeous. Very colorful. Not something that I get a lot of use out of, but something that I like having in my collection because the shades are really pretty and they actually work wonderfully. Like the performance of it is brilliant. And the Jaguar palette. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. It's stunning. Go-to glam palette. Definitely keeping. Nars Climax. Oh, she is not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. And I know so many of you purchased this from Nordstrom Rack. Like, I got mine from Nordstrom Rack. It is so good. It is so good. Totally worth the hype. Just can't say enough good things about it. I'm actually going to do a look soon using this blue too. Because I just am dying to put that all over my lids. So staying. Colourpop That's Taupe. I bought this because of Emily's makeup bag and she's right. This is a phenomenal palette. I love it. Beautiful colour story. It'll be really good for travel. She's not gone anywhere. Let me know if you'd like to see this in a get ready with me too, by the way. LH Cosmetics Enchanted Secrets. I think I always call it Enchanted Garden. It's obviously Enchanted Secrets palette. I talk about these all the time. I reference these a lot when I talk about the Pat McGrath Special Shadows um, because they're like the OG ones. Look at them. This didn't get the hype, it's discontinued now. It shouldn't be because they're amazing and it just didn't get the hype that it deserves. It really didn't. And I, I will not be decluttering this, it's too special. Same with this one. You can still actually purchase this one. She just re-bought it back. This is Metallic Mysteries 2. This palette is everything for this shade, but also these shadows are really cool too. This is a really good holiday palette as well. And you can still pick this up and I really recommend it, honestly. Like, look how good it is. It's crazy good. These are like Blitz, Astro uh, Blitz formulas, sorry. So good. This is the Earthy Nine Pan Palette from Beauty Bay. My friend Nicole sent this to me because she knows that I'm obsessed with greens and I am keeping it because I am obsessed with greens. Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eyes Are Forever. This is an amazing palette. It is high, high quality, great everyday palette, great for travel. Love it. Not going anywhere. Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 1 and 2. So 1 and 2. I feel like you know that these are not going anywhere. They're new to my collection and I love them. The What's Up Beauty Monsoon palette. So pretty, great indie brand, great quality, not going anywhere. Oh, well, we can easily say that I'm keeping this one. This is the Oma Beauty Freedom Palette. It's amazing. Watch my review and my looks on this if you haven't already. Highly recommend. Great, great palette. Kaleidos sent me this palette, which is this beautiful, cool tone palette. And look, I'm going to hold on to this for a little bit and see if I use it, but if I haven't used it in the next month or so, I will declutter it. I really like it. I think that this, like the shades are stunning in here. I just don't know how much use I would actually realistically get out of it as all, but I will keep it for now. This one though, look at that color story. If there was ever a me color story, my lord. This I can see getting so much use out of. I am so excited to use it. The shadow came broken in the like from traveling so i just repressed it but i like i i know i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this let's just tackle this one this is the Too faced gingerbread palette i actually got this in 2018 it is very very old <laughs> 
and I picked it up because this pink shade drew me in, the bright pink, and I just don't like the quality of Too Faced eyeshadow palettes. I just didn't get the hype. It just never wowed me. I never used it, and I always kept it around because I like the packaging, and it's the only Too Faced eyeshadow palette that I own. Even though I never use it, I was like, yeah, but it's the only one I own, so we'll keep it. I am finally decluttering this, you guys. It's going. It's going. It, I do not need this. I literally never use it. Lemonade palette from Dominique Cosmetics. Again, one a palette that's discontinued and I don't know why. Look at this color story. That is wearable color. Look at the mint. Look at this blueberry. How cool are they? They're such cool shades. Like, and this palette still, this palette is old actually. No, it feels a little bit, yeah, no, it, it, it feels like it's reached its expiry. Which is a shame. These two still feel pretty good, but the rest feel a bit. Let's try this. Yeah. I don't feel too bad, really. Hmm. Um, I don't know what to do about this palette. I don't really want to declutter this because I just love it so much. But I'm not going to use it, and you can't buy it anymore. Okay, let's put this in a maybe pile for the end. The Muse palette by Vive. Absolutely stunning. The metallics in here are an absolute wet down. But the mattes are incredible, and uh, yeah, I really love this brand. It's I'm keeping it. Kaleidos Cross Angelica Nyquivis Club Nebula Palette. This is such a cool palette. I bought this at the original release. I love it. It is such high quality. I wish it was permanent. I understand why it can't be, but I wish it was permanent. It's amazing. It is amazing. Like, look at these shades, you guys. Look at them. Look at that blue. Just look, it's so good. And I need to bring this out of my channel again. Who wants to see this? Let me know. Kaleidos also recently sent me the Escape Pod palette, which is stunning. I love their packaging. I love this brand's packaging. And this is beautiful. I recently did a look with the green and the pink and the shadows are just out of this world. Out of this world. Look at them. That's how they go on the eyes too. Look at this green. Ugh, obviously keeping. Let's tackle this one. This is the Tardis Pro Palette. This was the first ever high-end eyeshadow palette that I owned, literally ever owned. And I don't use it. It's not a color story that inspires me. It was great quality at the time. Like who remembers the Bora Bora trip? I think I say that every time I show it on my channel. Um, I got a lot of use out of it back then. It probably doesn't really look like I did, but I did. Um, but I'm not, let's be real. This is, I'm never going to reach for this now. And it's like, I bought this in 2016 or 2017. So it's done. It's done for, but I'm going to transition this one as well to my sentimental pile. I don't have many sentimental products, trust me, but I can't get rid of the first or one of the first high-end palettes I ever got. And the reasons why I say one of is because I actually got Modern Renaissance in these two at the exact same time. So they're like tight, but I'm going to transition that to, you know, the memory box, if you will. And then let's also tackle Modern Renaissance because... I got this when it was released and I saw ABH tweet out something where it was like, be honest, do you still have your original Modern Renaissance from 2016? And I was like, oh my God, I've had this since 2016. So <laughs> I don't know why I keep it in the collection as if I'm going to use it because one, it is like beaten and abused and two, the shadow performance is gone. It's gone. It's been like six years. So I'm going to... Transition this one to the memories box as well, just because it was, you know, tied with my first one. Nabla side by side palette. I only recently got this last year. I got it on sale. I love it. It's such a cool color story. I like the quality of it. I like the whole thing. And yeah, 100% keeping. Melts Cosmetics Gemini 2 and Gemini 1. So that is Gemini 1. That is Gemini 2. I hate their metallic formula. I know that's a strong word, but I really do hate it. But I love like love their matte formula. So I'm going to keep these because there's thankfully only two metallics in each one of these. So I'll get a lot of use out of the mattes. Lethal Cosmetics. I created these palettes. You, if you watched my eyeshadow palette collection video, you know, I, you know, these are single shadows that come and you put them in the palettes. 
so I have these two here. I love the color stories that I made. The colors in here, some of these colors are so beautiful and so unique to my collection. And also some of the more colorful shadows that I own in case I for some reason do want to use color. So I'm going to keep them around for a bit longer. There's, there's no harm in keeping them. They're small and thin. Oh, I just damaged that. Great. Anyway, I will try and get some more use out of them though. Maddie Ziegler from Morphe. I don't, I haven't used Morphe in a really long time. I think since 2020 maybe. I think this was the last Morphe palette I purchased. Just don't really support the brand anymore. Um, multiple different reasons, but I picked this up. I don't actually know who Maddie Ziegler is, but, um, cause I'm old, but I picked this up cause I love the color story. The color story is freaking cool. Like this is a cool palette and this shade and this shade was stunning. And I just loved this shade. I loved, I loved, I still love everything about this palette, but I'm not going to use it and I'm not going to show it on my channel. So it is going to be moved on to a better home. The Jaclyn Hill palette. I bought this when, you know, she launched it. I was right there with the hype all up in it, wanting to get it. It's a great palette. It, and especially when she released this palette, it was a brilliant palette and good quality for at the time, especially for the price point. This is really, really old now. And I actually didn't get a whole heap of use out of this. I got to be honest with you. Um, I mean, I did get quite a bit, you can see, but probably not as much as I think a lot of people did. But yeah, I'm actually... Uh, do I declutter this? It just feels like makeup history, but then also what do I need it for? Do you know what I mean? And the shadows I can just see from looking at them and I know that's a weird thing, but I can. I can just see from looking at them that they've turned, they've gone off. So no, do not hold on to this. Get rid of it. Let it go. I'm also letting go of this one. This is the Morphe, <laughs> oh God, the smell of it, 39B. You can smell how off this is. <laughs> because it was made, it was like one of those like really cheaply made palettes and it just reeks of chemicals. And I kept it around cause I'm like, what if I need color? Well, I haven't used this in years. So that's how much I need color and it's so off. And like it's in their original, they don't even have this packaging anymore. So they don't even have this palette anymore. I'm definitely decluttering that. Let's talk about Juvia's Place. I have a lot of Juvia's Place palettes because my husband bought them for me as a present one time, like in a bundle. I love the color stories. I love, like, look at this color story. Is that not the coolest color story? I think it is. Their color stories are amazing and their quality is really amazing. These are quite old. I think I got these in 2017, actually. So they're quite old, maybe 2018. No, it had to have been 2017. Um, so yeah, they are old. I still love the color stories. I think the color stories are amazing. There's some cool shades in here. I love, I love this green. I love this silver. I don't like this brand because there seems to have been quite a bit of controversy with this brand and the owner and customer service and stuff. I'm not sure about it, but from what I'm seeing, I'm just like, look, I don't have any issue with it. But for me, I'm just like, I'll choose to give my money to other brands. That's all. Um, but I love the shades and I love the color stories, but I'm also not going to use them. I'm definitely not going to use this one. This was the one that always got the least amount of use from me because it's just not a color story I'm probably going to super vibe with. So I think I can declutter this one. Definitely. I don't think I'll get a lot of use out of this one either. Like even if I was to use these. I don't anticipate getting, like, this shade draws me in, but that's the only shade that I would use. So let's move that one on. This one I love just because of this color story. Hmm. I have all these shades, don't I? I have all these shades. I have all these shades in other palettes. This one I really like. I'm not going to use it. What am I doing? I'm not going to use it. Like, let it go. I just like the greens. I'm tempted to depot these and take out the shades that I love. But why would I do that? Because I'm not going to use it. I need to let it go. And I bet you within a couple of weeks or not even, I bet you like once I put this in my declutter pile, I bet you I forget about them and that'll be it. Do you know what I mean? So I just need to move on. 
I have eyeshadow everywhere if you are wondering on an update about that. Frida Beauty Mercury Retrograde. It's not my favorite, but it's also not my not favorite. And I quite like the color story, so we'll keep it around. I'm absolutely not getting rid of Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz is amazing and beautiful and I love it. <laughs> the Naughty palette, I'm also not getting rid of. It does not get the love and attention it deserves. It's such a beautiful palette, but I'm still keeping it. So these two I have questions about, and here's my questions. This is the Desert Dusk palette, which is beautiful, and I've obviously gotten a lot of use out of this, especially this shade. I really, you know, everyone remembers this palette, right? It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. The thing is, this is definitely expired. The shadow quality, one, compared to Huda's new eyeshadow formula, this kind of sucks compared to that, if I'm honest. And two, it just, it's old, it's off. And this one's pretty much the same. I have this thing where I'm like, I pretty much, apart from the first one, I have like all of the Huda eyeshadow palettes. And so if I ever wanted to like do a ranking or something, I have them. But like, I'm never gonna use them. So like even this glitter, oh my God. Okay, I think that this glitter should be the testament as to why I should not keep that. Like, nothing came off. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, okay, these do not feel good. Okay. Let's try you. Okay, well, these ones are actually fine, because these glitters look amazing still. Oh, this palette is fine. Okay. That palette actually still feels really good. Look how pretty they are. I think it makes sense to, to actually throw this away. It's done for and it's old and I'm not gonna use it. So I will actually get rid of that. I'm gonna keep this one as a compromise because I'm finding it really hard. <laughs> so there's that. Lime Crime Greatest Hits Bangers. I bought this for this shade right here, but it is a beautiful palette. Like it's very pretty. It just doesn't really get the attention it deserves in my collection. It's super pretty. I have these shades in Kaleidos. I have this shade in multiple palettes. I have all of these shades in multiple palettes and I don't really show it on my channel and I don't think people really care about Lime Crime. So does it make any sense to keep this? Not really. It just makes me sad to get rid of it for some reason. I'm putting that in the maybe pile for now. This is just a Z palette that I got ages ago and this is actually filled with Makeup Geek singles and Colourpop singles. And this is my all time favorite shade of any eyeshadow. This is like so nostalgic for me. This is Lucky Penny. You guys might've heard me talk about this quite a bit. She still feels so good considering she's like five years old. And this is my OG one and done shade, you guys. Like if you wanna know what the best one and done shade is in the entire world, it's this. <laughs> Look at it. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And I'm not getting rid of that shade. That's 110% not happening. And to be fair, some of these shades can absolutely be decluttered. They absolutely can. Um, let's actually just do it. I, I don't want to just because they're all fitting, but like, let's actually declutter them. This is a ColourPop shade that can be decluttered. Same with that one. And that one. And that one, and that one, that one. Which one of these blacks was? I think that's ColourPop black, and then I'm pretty sure this is a Makeup Geek black. Yep. This one's Creme Brulee, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. Who remembers? <laughs> These just are so, Makeup Geek singles, they're just the epitome of like the beginning of the makeup community to me. Um, this one's Coco Bear, yeah, Coco Bear. Look, I remember all the shade names. Um, is this one a Colourpop? Yeah, this is Colourpop that can go. I'm not getting rid of any of my Makeup Geek, Dirty Martini. Um, I think this one is Colourpop. Yeah, that can go. Lucky Penny, you are never leaving. Colourpop. This one is Nordica Dragonfly. Mm, you're a maybe for now. You're a maybe. They're Colourpop. This one's type 2 from Makeup Geek. 
Center Stage from Makeup Geek. Curtain Call Makeup Geek. This is Colourpop. Um, snake Eyes can stick there for a second. Cherry Cola. Oh my god, Cherry Cola. Who remembers Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek? I should take these out and give this a clean, shouldn't I? Uh, now and Zen, that can go. You can wait there. That's um, Colourpop. This is Jester from Makeup Geek. And Lemon Drop. Oh, is that Makeup Geek? Oh, wow. Why don't I use that? I think I thought that was Colourpop. Anyway, okay. Let's leave you there for a sec and uh, I'll wipe my hands. Okay, so I just want to swatch these Colourpop singles because honestly, they're my jam. <laughs> And they still feel so good. These are old. When I say these are old, these are old. But they feel really good. Um, why do I want to keep them all? <laughs> I'm not going to use them, but I want to keep them all because they're beautiful. Look at that green one. I need to use this green one. That looks amazing. Yeah, okay. Well, they're just going to stay for now. I just don't, I just, I don't have the heart to declutter them. I have this little tray that I'll put them in for now. It's like I knew the perfect amount to declutter. That's hilarious. <laughs> and then I'm just going to quickly clean this up. So that looks much better and they are the single shadows that we're keeping on this declutter. Let's just look at these Norvina palettes. Um, so this is the Norvina Volume 3. And again, I'm not supporting ABH on my channel at the moment. But I kind of like how colourful this is. Am I realistically going to use it? Probably not. I actually bought this for 50% off um, at the very, very beginning of lockdown, actually, in 2020. Hmm. That's a maybe for now. This one, even though I'm not supporting the brand on my channel just until I figure out what the hell's going on with them, I am keeping this 100% because this is an incredible quality palette. Like, incredible quality. And I really like it. We're getting down to the pointy end here. And I just realized there's a Natasha Denona palette in here. This is the Leela palette. I'm not getting ready, rid of this at all. It's it's 100% staying. This is the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. This is also staying. I really like this. And I don't show it a whole lot on my channel because it wouldn't. It doesn't really make sense. You guys don't really seem that interested in it, to be honest with you. But this color story to me is one of the best color stories of all time. I just love everything about this. This shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this shade, this one, this one, this whole row, this one, like this one, everything just screams me on in this palette. So I, this is like a, I keep this for me. These are the ones that I've been avoiding, if you couldn't tell. And the reason why I'm avoiding them is, again, not supporting the brand on my channel at the moment, but these kind of hold sentimentality for me and it's I don't know there's just something about having them and it's weird and it's I'm trying to sift through if I got rid of these would I miss them so this is the prism palette which honestly people I think a lot of people hated it I bought it I bought it for these two shades and this shade and yeah the quality wasn't like incredible I can assure you but you know I, I didn't mind it <laughs> Soft Glam I got actually at the same time as Volume 3 Norvina um, at the start of lockdown in COVID and honestly it's a beautiful, beautiful palette but like we all have this colour story, right? And then Subculture I got because even though everyone was hating on it, I was like surely it's not that bad and I just absolutely adore this colour story more than anything and I really wanted it I picked it up and yeah, the quality sucks, you know? But now I kind of just... I just have always felt like I can't get, well, this is kind of new. So that's a separate one and it's actually really, really good. Um, and I've just kept this one around because I had, like, I felt like I had like an ABH collection. I don't know the mentality behind that. And then this one, it just feels like it was a part of makeup history. <laughs> uh, um, and so I'm not going to use them, 
like I haven't used them in years but like even just look at those colors together they're such cool cool colors you guys I really don't know what to do I really don't I think I'm gonna keep soft glam for now and I might revisit this one at the next declutter but it's still kind of new and I, I I like the color story and I just yeah I don't know I'm not ready to give that up I guess I feel like I can definitely give up prism I feel like I wouldn't even blink twice if I gave up prism and like yeah this doesn't feel very good and it, ne it didn't perform good in the first place you know even though they look pretty there I feel like I can give prism up I feel like I can I have, see the shade that I like is this one. I have that. I have this one. I have all of the mattes in here. I have sublime green for God's sake and subliminal blue. Yeah. Okay. Let's give up prism. I think I'm going to, going to declutter it and maybe find even single shadows that I like these shades and single shadows or something. I'm doing it. I'm getting rid of it. It hurts, but I'm doing it. I don't know why it hurts. But it does. Let's go back to this maybe pile. No, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to move it on. It, it, I cannot do this. Okay, last maybe. Actually, no, there's another maybe. Um, Maybe I could depot these, though. Okay, I might actually try and depot those, though. Because I do really like them. And then I feel like I need to revisit this one. I really wish you guys were here with me because I feel like you would probably be talking some sense into me. I just don't wear a lot of color, you know? I'm very basic. Maybe this is one of those palettes that I keep and if I haven't used it at all by the next declutter I do, then I have to get rid of it. Okay, that seems reasonable, right? Let's see how many I've decluttered first before we look at how many I've kept. We are decluttering 19 palettes and all of these singles as well, which is like half a palette. So 19 and a half of palettes. That's pretty good because I started with what, 92 or 93? So now I'm back down to like the 70s, right? Okay, let's go ahead and count what I have remaining, but this is what we're decluttering, which is 19. And I'll double check that count. Okay, and these are all the eyeshadow palettes I am keeping, plus my full Pat McGrath Labs collection, my Natasha Denona collection, and my Tom Ford Corn collection, which if you would like to see those collection pieces, I'm going to refer you back to my full eyeshadow palette collection, because they're in there, excluding Mothership 10, and uh, I kind of go through them a bit more in depth, and I'm, I'm not going to do that now, because this video will already be a million years long. So let me just quickly count how many we've got. Uh, left so we have 75 left and then I have this lemonade one that I may declutter I may depot so that's kind of like a wishy-washy one 75 I feel like I might have started with 95 and I missed counting my celestial odyssey and my moeristic vixen squad wow 75 even that's a lot still oh I don't want to get rid of any of anything else though so <laughs> 75 it is they really add up don't they like your collection grows so quick but I don't like I feel sad when I say 75 and I look at them all just because obviously I can't use all of these like every single day like I would want to but at the same time I don't because like I don't feel sad about them because I just love every single one of them and I create content and I love looking at them and swatching them and playing with them and I get there's other ways to get use out of them other than just putting them on your eyelids I guess and yeah, I just absolutely love makeup. So anyway, okay, um, that's the eyeshadow palettes. Let me quickly go through and we'll just quickly do, I know that I'm not decluttering any mascaras and stuff, but I'll explain why. But we'll look at eyeliners and brow products and I think that's it. And then this will be done at least. <laughs> so uh, let me put these away now, which is a massive effort, just so you know. <laughs> okay, so when you would have seen when I first popped this little 
six square thing down that it had kind of a few random things in it, but I've added extras just so that we can do it all in this tray and keep it nice and simple. This is the brow section, mascaras, eyeliners, eye primers, and I guess eye wands and single shadows, which I actually do have them to add in there as well. Let's just go through this. I don't envision there to be a whole lot of decluttering going on here if you if I'm being honest with you guys most of it's either they're still really good and I use it brand spanking new as in in the box or just something that I know I will use so I'll just kind of show you guys so eye primers I have my Mario primer clearly I love it and I'm nearly finished with it so like I'll keep going and I really like it I'll probably repurchase it holy grail rare beauty eye primer like holy grail love and my Intensify stick, also Holy Grail, love. And her next sale, I'm gonna buy like two of these so that I'm never, ever out of it again. I can't be without that again. I've started adding cream shadows to my collection. If you guys caught my one and done eyeshadow video where I went through my eyeshadow palettes and kind of showed you guys how I find or how I kind of use them as one and done shadows. I said that I was starting to add cream shadows to my collection so that I could eventually do a one and done cream shadow or a cream shadow recommendation video, especially because I have hooded eyes. I wanted to be able to recommend a lot of cream shadows to fellow hooded eyed friends. So I've started adding some. I haven't used these yet because the Pat palette came in and I've been really caught up with that. But I picked up these RMS ones because I've actually wanted them for a really long time and I swatched them in store and I just couldn't resist. So I'll actually do a video of me trying these, but I picked up Strobe and I picked up Blaze. I'm not gonna swatch them just yet because I haven't even touched them, but obviously I'll keep them. And I also picked up the Hourglass Scattered Lights little pot thing in Smoke. I had a feeling that people would ask me about these, like if I ever did a cream shadow video. So I thought I'd pick up just one to try. And this shadow actually looks like a really good one and done shade that I would use quite often on a one and done. So again, I haven't touched it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna swatch it or ruin it just today. I'll, I'll include it in a video somewhere, trying it out. This is my beloved Victoria Beckham cream shadow pot in mink. I love this. This one I can swatch. <laughs> I've used it quite a bit. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to pick up more shades of this. This one's just a bit too dark for the everyday for me, but my Lord, is it beautiful. This, by the way, as a one and done all over the lid with a colored liner, especially a blue that I'll show you later on through the waterline, like the lower waterline is so perfect and beautiful. But yeah, I'm definitely, I've got a couple of these on my list to pick up. I'm actually just waiting for her to have a 20% off sale and then I'm gonna pick them up. These are the LS Fast Eye Wands. One's a creamy matte one in E106. Does not get the hype that it deserves. Even the get ready with me that I did where I had these products in them didn't really get like the views that I kind of usually-ish get. And I, I mean, I get it. It's a brand that's like no one really cares about, but like, oh, look at them. And they don't crease on hooded eyes. Like these are so good. I wish I could pick up every single color in these. Not that I would be able to use every single color because like you've seen how many eyeshadow palettes I have, but they're such beautiful products. Look at that. I actually got this one here. This is the Laura Mercier little shadow stick in the shade Strapless. I actually haven't used this. I got this given as like a Sephora rewards thing, so I didn't purchase it, but I should use it because that's really pretty. I like that. That's a one and done on an everyday if I've ever seen one. And this will be good for my little cream shadow video. And this is the Vive I Wand in the shade Silver Mink. I wanted this ever since she released it and used my Vive review as an excuse to pick it up. And it's amazing. I truly love it. It's so beautiful. So it's kind of like Platinum Dusk actually from the Mothership 10. And I really liked this. I want to pick up more shades eventually. All right, let's go through brows. Anything Benefit is staying. They send me PR sometimes, which is lovely of them, but I actually just genuinely love their brow products. I have a heap of them. So I have like two gimme brows. I have a heap of brow pencils, a brow pomade, 
I'm, I'm not getting rid of these because honestly I go through them that often so they're staying. This is the Kosas Brow Pop. It's okay. It's not brilliant. I wouldn't repurchase it but I'm currently actually, I've got this in my like makeup to use up pile so I am going through that. This is a NYX Control Freak Brow Gel that I actually got for free from Ulta on my trip to the US recently with like just my what I bought um, and I actually really like it. So keeping... The Makeup by Mario Clear Brow Gel. It's actually, it's just okay. I wouldn't repurchase this, but I'll use it up. This is the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Brow Gel. And it, I actually think this might be off. Mm, I don't know. I think it's just, yeah, it's not good. It's really not good. Um, it doesn't really do much at all. Um, actually, I'm going to keep it because when I do my eyes first, when I film tutorials and I like to just quickly like brush up my brows, um, just to kind of get the shape of them for the eye look. So I'll use it for that. And then I go in after and actually finish my brows. So because it doesn't actually like do anything and really hold them, it'll just lift it for a while I do the look so I can see the shape. I'll keep it for that. Um, I have two little brow powders. I really like this Sigma one actually. And then I have the dark brown one from ABH. These are quite good. They're kind of different colors to each other, so even though they might not look it. So depending on my hair color at the time, either all works. And also for those of you who don't know, I wear like alternative hair because I've suffered from hair loss. So depending on like what wig or whatever I'm wearing, it works really well. So anyway, keeping them. Best brow gel ever, Patrick Tile Lamination Gel. This is probably nearly finished, but I will repurchase a million percent. It's so good. This is the MCO Beauty brow gel. It's like a um, boy brow dupe and it's really nice. My friend Nicole gave it to me and it's really good, so I'll keep that. This is the Sample Beauty Clear brow gel. I actually picked this up because Robert Walsh said it's like glue and it holds up his brows and my brows are quite strong. But I don't know, you can see it's white. It doesn't dry white, it dries clear, but yeah, I don't know, I don't like it. I think it's the applicator. It's too like short and stumpy. I can't like properly get, oh no, it's this. I can't like get close enough to my brows because I don't know. It's weird. I don't, yeah. I mean, declutter it is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is the Lime Cry Bushy Brow Pen. This is not bad product at all, but also nearly finished. So I need to move this to my makeup I'm going to use up pile because this is actually nearly finished. I've had this for years. Um, an ABH Brow Pencil. Um, I think I'll keep that actually because that'll be really good for travel. This Flower Beauty, it's like the Fenty Beauty kind of dupe because it's got that little brush on it. And I'm pretty sure this is actually empty. I've probably got like one. Oh, I was holding this up to the microphone like you could see. That's like as far as it's twisting. So I'm going to put that in my empties. Uh, this is a brand new... Maybelline brow pencil that my friend Nicole gave me, so I'll keep that. And then what are these? Okay, so this is in essence the eyebrow pen. Oh, this thing. Oh, that's kind of good. My friend Nicole gave me this too. She gave me a lot of makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that actually. That's kind of cool. I'll use that. I love a brow pen. This one is the essence brow pen and this is so good. Like look how fine this is. This is the best brow pen I've ever used, this Essence brow pen that my friend Nicole gave me again. I'm gonna keep that. I'm actually gonna declutter this one. This is the Rimmel brow pen and I don't really like it and it's pretty much used up. So I'm gonna declutter that. Let's talk mascaras. These three mascaras I haven't opened at all. Um, Par L'Oreal pa Paradise Ecstatic. Ecstatic? Ecstatic. Why did, was that so hard for me? My friend Nicole gave me this. I haven't even opened it. I'll definitely use it. Um, the Kali Ray Come Hello High Water Mascara and the Lancome Lash Oil, all completely unopened, will keep in my collection because, like, I will eventually use them and they're not open, so they're fine. This NARS Climax Extreme as well, also completely unopened and amazing, will be using. So I'm actually going to move that back here. This is one of the current mascaras in my makeup I'm using up pile, let's call it. This is the Huda Legit Lashes. I actually only have, like, two or three more times I reckon I've got to use in this. So she'll keep it. This is the Victoria Beckham Future Lash. And again, I've nearly finished this up. It really doesn't have much left to go in it. So we'll keep it and finish it. And we'll 
I mean, I'm not going to repurchase it anytime soon because clearly I have a lot, but eventually probably will repurchase it. I actually really like it. This is a waterproof Lancome Lashy Doll. This is what I wore on my wedding day. That's why it's the waterproof one. And I've actually opened this because I wore it on my wedding day. So once I've finished the Huda and the Victoria Beckham, I will get through using this one so that it doesn't go to waste. I have a heap of minis because when I went to America, the Sephora in the US, those of you in the US will know this, you can purchase like the mini ones and then you get a free full size, which I purchased the clean mascara mini set and the other normal mascara mini set. And I picked up, I got the full size Lashy Doll for one set and then the Cali Ray for the other set. So that's why I have these two big ones and all these little ones. Anyway, in the clean set, I think the clean set was this five. Um, it was the Milk Kush Mascara, the Say Mascara, the Ilia Mascara, the Cali Ray, and the Item Beauty. I'm pretty sure that was that set. And then, yes, it was. And then the other set was Bad Gal Bang, the Huda Legit Lashes, the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes, the Tarte, and it was also a mini Lancome Lashy Doll, which I've already used up the mini Lancome Lashy Doll. And so I've been using this one. So I'm keeping all of these because they actually, none of these have been opened at all. I try and only have two mascaras max open at one time because they go off so quickly. So I'm working on this one. Let's look eyeliners. This is the Melt Cosmetics Cultural Eyeliner. You've seen me using this quite a bit recently. I love it. It's so good. I want to pick up the dark green color in this. These are all of my ColourPop liners. And I think I can declutter some of these actually. They're so... Let me just swatch them and see what I want to keep. I'm going to declutter these three mauve purpley burgundy ones, which is these three on the end here, because they're kind of too dark for me to really get much use out of. So I'll declutter those. But I actually, if you've watched my videos for quite some time, you kind of know um, I do usually use these quite a bit. I actually really like these. I like to put pops of colors in my lower waterline. I, like, I think it's a really easy way to incorporate color to a look. So I'll keep those. These are three Charlotte Tilbury liners. This one is like the green one. And then this is the same Hollywood Exaggerize one. So you get a champagne and a black. This is just a backup to this one because it's nearly finished. So this is currently in my makeup I'm using up pile. And then I'll move on to this one. I'm, I'm not decluttering any of these. They're a brilliant, brilliant eyeliner. My Linda Holberg Grage Core Crayon. She ain't gone anywhere, sister. I just bought her and will, again, like, be something I imagine I continue to repurchase because it's so good. This is the mini Perma Gel liner. It's just in black from Pamagraph. It's brilliant, so won't get rid of that. The Victoria Beckham Kajal liner. This is in the shade brown. These liners are so good. I want to pick up more shades in them eventually too, so definitely not decluttering Victoria Beckham. Makeup by Mario liner. Again, a really good one. I'd like to pick this one up in black. This one's in brown. I really like it. You guys see me use the Melt Olive one all the time. It's my one of my favorite eyeliners. This one in grayish from, for my lower waterline is like my go-tos. This is a liquid liner from Maybelline and I really like it. I very rarely would do wings, but when I do, I like this one. If I'm gonna use a liquid eyeliner. It's the LA Girl Neon Yellow. I don't know why I bought this, but I like it, so I'll keep it. <laughs> Oh, I missed a ColourPop one. Do I want to keep this? No, I will never use that. That can go. This Fenty Beauty one is actually pretty old. I think it's pretty much... I think I actually need to... Yeah, I need to throw that out. That is very, very, very old. I actually forgot that I owned that. I have two KVD liners. These are so good. If you want a liner that is actually not going to budge, go ahead and get these. I'll probably pick up more shades in these. Um, I got black and gray because why not and oh, they're just so good they're such good liners honestly and then i think i got this in like a sephora rewards yeah i did i would never have bought this so this is a kvd tattoo liner so i'll just keep that in case i ever feel like doing it like doing an actual liner and then this is a nyx like really really small i don't know if it'll show how small that is and it's brilliant for those of you that have hooded eyes um, and you want to use a liquid pen. This is called NYX. That's the point. Get yourself this liquid liner. If you do a lot of wings and you have hooded eyes, it will change the game for you. And then this is an LH Cosmetics white core crayon. 
And this is really, really, really old. And I'm actually gonna throw this away because when I say old, I mean 2017 and I don't think it's safe for eyes. So I don't even know why it's still in there. So I don't keep my eyeliners in here, by the way. I actually keep them in this little bamboo thing in a separate drawer. So I'm just gonna pop them back in there. And then this one, this one, and, and then these three, my Olive, my Grage, and my Charlotte Tilbury actually live on my desk in my like makeup I'm trying to use up section. So this is what we're decluttering, three brow products three brow products and six eyeliners and I didn't count how many I had to begin with but we're just gonna pretend like I did okay but this is what we're decluttering which honestly is actually more than I thought because I really do kind of go through my brow products my mascaras and my eyeliners I do so I'm surprised that I'm decluttering anything if I'm honestly <laughs> honest from that collection this is everything that we are decluttering from this video which is honestly I think the most I've decluttered out of everything but I knew I wanted to declutter quite a few eyeshadow palettes which I think decluttering 10 is pretty darn good at least in my opinion anyway let me know your thoughts down below hopefully you're enjoying it all so far and uh, that is the end of the video if you're watching until this point you're an absolute legend I appreciate you more than anything thank you so much if you haven't already pretty please give the video a thumbs up subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell if you haven't already I truly appreciate it I hope that you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time bye